<laughs> I don't see any special meetings coming up this coming week, but there are some anniversaries. Jared, Andrew and Jenny Fadna are celebrating on this coming Saturday, and Jenny has a birthday on the 4th. And other birthdays, we have Alicia Bednar's Grimley and Adam Weller will celebrate on Thursday. And David Rusk will celebrate on Tuesday. And today being a special day, we have two birthdays. Talma is 16 today. And our favorite Bob in the choir is 90. So let's do what we used to do and serenade the a song.
teach us to be the people. Isaiah prophesied about when he said, They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities. The devastation of many generations. In the name of the one who gave his life. So that we might know God, abundance, and life eternal. Amen.
Why did you enter the body of this young man? He answered back, I just want to try. So I have a clue that is, it's not, I mean, a heavy bottle. It was the time to send him out. In Jesus' name, come out of the body of this boy. Out. Come out, for you have no place in the heart of this young man. In Jesus' mighty name, come out of the body of this boy. I prayed for him and again commanded the demon to come out. And the demon came out. He was gone. It was such an experience for me. During my ministry, I had been blessed and empowered by the Lord to speak and exercise demons. I have exercised five all teenagers, and it was the name of Jesus that drove them away. Going back to the young man, when he came back to his senses, I asked him, how are you? And the teenager answered back, Where I am? Where am I? What I am doing here? I told him what I told him what happened and he could not believe. <clears throat> All he can remember was the time when he went near a big big tree and peed on its trunk. I talked to him about accepting Jesus and agreed and again prayed for him. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, do you believe that there are demons? Do you believe that there is indeed evil spirit? Do you believe that Satan is alive? I will say to you outrightly, I believe or I have encountered them. Our story today from the book of Job tells us that indeed Satan is true. He is alive. He is working and he is going back and forth in our world. In our text, Job chapter 2 verses 1 through 3, on another day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with, the, with them to present himself before him. And the Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Satan is roaming around, back and forth, back and forth, to and fro. I don't know. He might be spotting someone to divert his or her attention. I am, a, I am sharing God's word to you this time. He might be whispering sleep. Do not listen to the nonsense things that your pastor is speaking about. He might be whispering, come on. You deserve something better in life. Leave your family. Your kids will grow up and they will be all right with, without you. Or come on. You deserve to be happy. Go for it. You will not be caught with what you are doing. It will be good and you are safe. Do it. Satan speaks lies and lies and more lies. Satan is alive. He is roaming around looking for someone to turn. In our text we read that God asks Satan, have you considered my son Job? He is upright. 
I would like to believe that when God asked this question, there was no doubt that God knew the heart of Job. He knew that he would never give up his faith in him. If Satan goes to and fro looking for people to tempt, God is trusting that his faithful children, whatever will happen to them, will stay in their faith and continue to trust in Him. Are you one of those who are committed to their faith that whatever happens will not turn back from it just like Job? God counts on you. Faithful believers that you will not give in to the temptation of Satan. God trusts on you and me that we will continue to be strong in our faith to Him. Satan can do anything to us because he is powerful, yet let us not forget that God said to Satan, Spare Job's life. Job had God's protection on him. So are we. We are not exempt from suffering because Satan is powerful to afflict us. But we are protected by God. We are spiritually protected by God our God. My wife supports me and she is with me whatever happens. Now let us see the wife of Job. The wife of Job bullied him. It is clear that she is an unbeliever. She even told Job to curse his God and curse him to die. What a terrible partner in life. Now, wives, how good a partner are you to your husband? Do not be a bully to your husband. Instead, honor your husband, for your husband is the head of your home. Now, husband. Now, husbands too, it doesn't mean we are excused. Are there bully husbands here? What? We are husbands because we are given the privilege by God to love and protect the wife that He has given to us. Going back to the wife of Job, she was a bossy wife, but how did Job answer her bullying? He replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? Do not be foolish. God is sovereign. He allows everything to happen because He is God. Are you God? He knows everything. He must have allowed things because He knows what will happen. Job tells his wife, Do not be thankful for the good things. Be thankful also for the bad things in life. It's not just the good things that we should accept, but also the troubles in life. Yes, there is wisdom on these words of Job. Shall we only accept that that which is good? Well, that is our nature as human beings. We only want the good stuff. 
but not the bad, but life is not like God. As Solomon says, there is a time for everything. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plan and a fruit. A time of mourning and a time to be joyful. A time of trouble and a time of victory in life. We just need to accept it. Accept what our God gives to us. Because He is God. And He has no, He has a reason for allowing these things to happen. Job did not know what was happening. Job did not know, did not know the conversation of God and Satan. Job did not know the purpose of God. But he remained in trusting God. Satan and the devil and evil spirits are real. He is roaming around. He goes to and fro. Be on our guard. Remember that God trusts in you to be faithful to Him. Remember that God's protection is with you. God is with all who, who trust in His name. Amen.
the blood of Christ given to me. Let us with your loving presence. Send us forth in courage. 